ready. We are ready to roll. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, please have a seat. What sheets here, by the way? We always fight if we cook together. So <laughs> we try not to cook together. But she makes the best cha ever. For her, I'm just her daughter. She's like, my expectations are you have to make sure you do your laundry on time, spend more time with kids. <laughs> so that's, that's my son. He loves painting. Absolutely loves painting, and he's already got an artwork at the restaurant. <laughs> Beautiful rainbow colors. So we're going to pick some of whatever is nice and interesting. My approach to cooking is very natural. I get very obsessed about things and topics. Like if I get fascinated about something that I haven't tasted before, I try to make sure that I use it on the menu somehow. So these are salvias, I think, very early autumn flowers and they taste a little bit like cumin. It is very natural in Indian food philosophy to use things that are seasonal and that are native to the land. I think I want to carry on that tradition of using what is natural. I love plants and I just get very excited to use them. Magish. Honestly, Antivar laundry was never planned to be what it is now. It was very much a supper club when we were doing it from home for strangers to come along and eat regional Indian cuisine. It was very much under the radar. <laughs> I didn't want to clean the whole backyard and it's just better for people to enter via the laundry. It's so much more convenient. So it's a bit of a silly story, but we went with it. It's a very family affair, the whole restaurant business we we're doing now. Anna speakers are better. Sonas and Sonas na speaker are cake. It why restaurant over Bajia Pra So he'll figure it yeah, he'll he'll help me out. He's my go-to person. He's more OCD than me. I think it looks nice right now. It, it's going to work for tonight and maybe we yeah, that's keep yeah, it closed. That's, yeah. After those curtains going up, I feel I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> we are cooking Bengali menu and the cuisine is very flexible. So in our one of the desserts, we use cardamom. But instead of cardamom, use, we are using rye berries, which are same family of cardamom. Our sukto. Traditionally, we'd use bitter melon, but bush tomato is delicious with it. So we're using bush tomato. Lots of sunrise limes, blood limes. We made a pickle here, which is this beautiful blood lime dog. And the fragrance of this blood lime is unlike anything. I'll be honest, we can't uh, replace or substitute things like turmeric or red chili, or like kalonji, which is very typical of Bengali cuisine, which is onion seeds. They just work wonders. I want people to relax and feel at home. Enter our laundry fits 12 people on this shared table, so you could expect meeting a lot of different people. We don't have a laundry here, but we have a very special entrance that is going to be a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I think there's this stereotype of when someone says Indian cuisine, there is this image of a red thick gravy and some naan or rice. We are not cooking that. We are not going to be pulling apart ingredients in a way that it mimics a French dish. We want to keep it very true to its core. I really wanted to talk to you about the next course. It's very close to us. It is in a very traditional format that we are serving it. It's called Bengali Bhog, meaning it is a feast. We have a true blue Bengali here. And what we have done is we've taken the techniques, the progression, the concept and the history of what Bengali cuisine is. But we've incorporated all the natives and all the beautiful produce that is in season now. How it's to be eaten is with hands, but I completely can get you a spoon if you, if you don't want to be too adventurous, you guys, I expect you to eat with hands. <laughs> As an immigrant, I think it takes time to feel at home when you go somewhere else. Indian cuisine in Australia is very young and early stages. The word curry is just thrown in <laughs> everywhere. And so Entava Laundry is a byproduct of me trying to connect to the land here, trying to preserve the culture that I have, and I want to pass that on.